What's up guys, I'm Ostevo and in today's video I'm going to be talking about the Vestra jet plane. So first off I'm going to talk about a little bit of the plane. Um, first off it comes with the business update for GTA 5, that, uh, it came out on the 4th of March 2014 and it can be bought from either the Xbox Live Marketplace or the Marketplace on PlayStation, I don't know what it's called, sorry. And once you have, have actually downloaded the DLC for it, it's free by the way, um, once you're in game it can be purchased from the website Elitist Travel. So I'm just going to be going through some uh, good and bad things that I think about the plane. So I'm going to start off with some good things. First thing, it's got a very nice design to it. I like it. Um, I like how there's two angled rudders at 45 degrees instead of just one straight rudder. I think that's a good idea and it looks good. The next thing I like about it is it's very small and compact. I think it's a. Uh, it looks really nice. Um, it's like the Luxor jet, except it's smaller, which hopefully means it's quicker as well because both jets have uh, two engines on the back. The only thing different is that the Vestra is smaller, which hopefully means less weight to carry, which means faster. I have actually noticed it is very quick, and that's the uh, next point, um, speed. It is very fast and uh, very easy to control. It's also very manoeuvrable, meaning you can do like tricks and like, barrel rolls and front flips. Not front flips, back flips, sorry. And it's just easy to control. I just want to say something. Um, it's not a good or bad point. It's just I just want to say a little bit of information about it again. Um, the Vestra actually resembles to the Cirrus Vision SF50. I'll put a picture on the screen for you now. And the only difference I could see with it is the F the Cirrus Vision SF50 has the engine, just one engine, on top of it, which you can see. And yeah, that's instead of the two engines on the side, which the Vestra has. So yeah, uh, you can once you've bought it, you can request it from Pegasus, and it shows you where it is on the map, and it, it comes in various colours. I've seen it in red and yellow so far, but I'm sure there's more colours to it. Now we're moving on to the bad points that I found out with it. Um, the first bad point is a really obvious one. It's expensive. Uh, the Vestra itself costs nine hundred and fifty thousand dollars, which is almost a million, and that's very expensive. I mean, if you just started playing the online, you will definitely will not be able to afford this unless you've got some sort of glitch or money method that really works. But if you want to try and earn that money, it's going to take you a very long time. But once you have bought it, it is really good. And the second thing about this is it only seats two people. You cannot fit no more than two people. That's the pilot and the co-pilot if you will. If you look back to when I said that it resembles the Sirius Vision SF50, I actually researched into it a bit. The Sirius Vision SF50 can actually hold up to about seven people I think. So I just want to say that um, there's another difference between the Vestra and the Sirius Vision SC50. So that's it guys, that's been my video about the Vestra, uh, my thoughts and opinions on it. Um, if you've got your own thoughts and opinions, please leave them in the comments below. I'd like to hear what you guys think. If you guys have enjoyed this video, then please help me out by leaving a like. And if you want to see more, then hit that subscribe button. Um, it means a lot to me if you do hit that subscribe button. It means that um, you guys want to see my videos. I'm, I must be doing something right. So it's been your boy, Ostevo. Um, thanks for watching and peace.